Hello students, welcome to RH Chemistry. So in today's video, I am going to discuss about complete details about deemed universities in Karnataka. So already if you don't know also, I am going to tell you now, remember all these seats of deemed universities are allotted only through all India counseling that is by MCC. That is by MCC. That you have to know. All these seats of deemed universities will be allotted by MCC in round 1, round 2. Then mop-up round will be there. Then stray vacancy round will be there. And about all these rounds I have explained in the previous two videos. How to register and everything. So you can go through those videos. And if you have not seen... I will give that link in the description or in the i button also above by using that you can see and you can go through so that you can make a list of colleges which is suitable for you. In this video I am going to discuss about only deemed universities. Remember the deemed universities are nothing but the deemed universities are also having very good weightage in the society. If you complete your MBBS and come out definitely you will get very good job. You can start your own practice also. Deemed universities and other universities if you compare. Only thing is deemed universities will have there is their own curriculum. Which means their own system. So in that also remember definitely whatever the, the things they will learn. Other students they will learn in the government colleges. The same thing they will learn here also. Only the difference with some curriculum activities. And these are the 11 deemed universities present in the Karnataka. And as per my knowledge, these are the deemed universities in Karnataka. If you don't have, if you have some more uh, uh, colleges also, you can tell. But some students have told in the comment box, SDM Darwad is deemed university. No, my dear students, SDM Darwad is private college. Yes. And first of all, remember deemed universities are for those students or parents who are this financially more stable. If you are a middle class family, then definitely you cannot afford this much fees for 5 years. Remember, almost uh, 60 lakh to 1 crore rupees you have to put it for 5 years MBBS course. So definitely these are the deemed universities suitable for if the person with a more financially stable condition. Yes, now I will tell you in this particular case, name of the deemed university is All India Quota Fees and Fees at the Time of Admission. And these fees are subjected to change. That is a condition here. And these fees I have taken it from MCC website. So, whatever they have mentioned, I am going to tell you. And hostel fees. Then about this hostel fees, most students have told whether this includes mess or without the mess, all these things. I don't know my dear students, remember you can, if you want some more information, you can visit their particular website, you will get the some numbers, you can call them and you can ask. This is the hostel fees they have given in the MCC website, I am going to tell you directly. And these are the number of seats which is there for MCC, under MCC for All India Quota. Yes, first one you can see BLD University, Bijapur, around 17 lakhs fees. Let me tell you another important point, my dear students. Remember, these are the fees. These are the lowest fees among all the deemed universities in India. In India, if you compare with some other states, remember, Karnataka states will have lowest fees. Hence, competition will be more for this. Remember that. So, these are the lowest fees. See, in this particular case, BLD University, 17 lakh you have to pay All India Quota fees. Fees at the time of admission, you have to pay 17 lakh 15,000, which means 15,000 extra as a security deposit they may take. And these fees, it may exclude or include building fund, all those things, etc. That you have to uh, talk with the same management. Yes, hostel fees they have given 9,000 rupees. And number of seats in that BLD University, Bijapur is remember around 127 seats. Jawaharlal Nehru College, Belagavi, 18,28,000 and same fees is there for that the admission also and 12,000 rupees hostel fees per month it is. Remember, this I am talking about per month hostel fees and number of seats is 158. 
like the JSS Medical College Mysore, 14 lakh 75,000, same fees for at the time of admission also, 14,000 is the hostel fees and 158 is the number of seats. KS Agni Medical Academy Mangalore, so 15 lakh 35,000, 15 lakh 41,500 you have to pay at the time of admission, 8,000 is the hostel fee and 115 seats are there for the counselling. Kasturba Medical College Manipal, Mangalore and Kasturba Medical College University Manipal. So Mangalore in Mangalore it is there and in Manipal it is there. So both are having same fees and 12,450 in Mangalore, 10,300 in Manipal for hostel fees and 16212 seats are there in the Mangalore and 161 seats in the Manipal. Sri Devarajaras Medical College Kolar, 14,50,000. 14,50,000, is the hostel fees. This is the lowest among all and 127 seats are there. Siddharth Medical College, the deemed university, Tumkur, 15,65,750, same fees in the at the time of admission also you have to pay. 10,300 is hostel fees and 128 number of seats are present. And in case of Enepoya Medical College, Mangalore, 17,50,000 at the uh, all India quota fees and 17,50,000 is the uh, at the time of admission you have to pay. See, this is not like 17 lakh here, 17 lakh here. It is not like that. So, 17,50,000 under all India quota fees will be there. Plus 50,000, so same fees you have to pay. Which means the same fees both sides. It is not like this plus this. It is not like that. Remember, this is not addition. The same fees, but at the time of admission in some colleges, they will take some 15,000, 20,000 extra. And 10,000 is hostel fees. And here you can say general merit, which means 57 is there. This uh, minority Muslim, 57 is there. MM is minority Muslim. Raja Rajeshwari Medical College, Bangalore, remember. So 23 lakh is the highest among all these deemed universities and 23 lakh at the time of admission also. So it is not the meaning that you have to give 46 lakh. It is not like that. So 23 lakh here, which means the same fees you have to give. It is mentioned in the MCC, all India quota fees and you have to give the same fees at the time of admission. 12,500 is the hostel fees. So among all this, uh, the total number of seats are more, that is 213. Siddhartha Academy T. Begur, Bangalore, 15,77,000 and 15,77,000 same, 10,500 you have to uh, give it as hostel fees and 128 seats, seats are there. And these are the, uh, uh, the complete details about deemed universities and about this seat matrix, remember, I have given, but what is the last year cutoff, what is the last year cutoff for that? I am making a list. So, if I don't get the complete list also, remember, I will tell you how to see that. Uh, on your own also, you can go through all those things last year cut off. Right? So, these are the important details about deemed university. Next video, once again, we will meet with the, some more information about the need counseling. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.